Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Okay, guys. Look at its tongue. Does everybody see its tongue? Their tongue is about 18 to 20 inches long. It means they can link their eyeballs with their tongue. I heard some of you say it's purple back there. Yeah, you know what that helps it for, uh, for his sunburn. It means his tongue's out all day. The giraffe word translates in Arabic to graceful walker. They really are graceful walkers, really quiet animals. You can see doing what's doing best, they munch all day. Snacking. That's a really good look at the baby elephant too. What's that an elephant baby? Very good look at that baby elephant. Baby elephants like that will stay at their mother for 13 to 15 years. So we are in downtown Disney. And some of you may or may not recognize. Well, it could be possible that you don't recognize it. And we are, here's Ghirardelli. <laughs> and yeah, Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli. We all say it differently. Then there's the world of Disney right over there with Stitch. And he actually spit to you. Yes, these are the guests that tried to steal merchandise from this store. And we have a very tall boy right there. And right now she's looking around to try to find a gift for someone. Someone extra special. If I can just find where it is. What is it that you are trying to find? I'm not telling you, it's a secret. But I'm super lost right now. Oh my gosh, it's a princess. I didn't know princesses came to shop. <laughs> I thought their princess did it for them. <laughs> oh, that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Sully and Mike Wazowski. That's Wazowski with one eye. Dude! Hey, I'm gonna do Dory's song, as she does in the musical. And it goes something like this. Mr. Grumpy Pew, life's full of little Don't throw your hopes in the sky. Oh, what's the Pokemon? Not going anywhere. Just to wish your tail and fly on and drive. And I can't float right now, but she's... Darn. There's Pleasure Island. Or Lack Thereof. Why do you say Lack Thereof, Scott? Well, I'll tell you why. Because they got rid of all of the clubs. No more comedy club, or comedy warehouse, I should say. No more adventure club, adventurers club. No more mannequins. No more any of those clubs. They shut them all down. So sorry for all of you who are coming in August. I hate to disappoint, but uh, Pleasure Island is no longer Pleasure Island. It's just, it's, it's like shopping island now. <laughs> Welcome to the Hollywood that always was, but never will be. And look who it is. Hello. And look who it ain't. So right now we are riding rock and roller coaster many, many times. And uh, this is our second time. And we'll see how many times we can ride it without getting uh, a headache. We're going mad, I should say. If you plan on riding rock and roller coaster, make sure that you ride in the middle because the middle is the smoothest ride. If you want more Action, if you want to feel the most, ride in the front. Ride number three.
number three. Rock and roller coaster. In a row. Now folks, today we will be filming our own action feature called Harbor Attack. You see many of the effects of directors like Michael Bay use in their films. Please turn your attention to those monitors, and here's Michael Bay to set up the scene for us. In this scene, the Provo is on a bail station, searching the skies for any aircraft, the crew's caught off guard when the real mate surfaces the scene. This is going to require a full range of physical effects, quick second planning, and careful direction. We have the lights, we have the cameras, all we need now is the action. If anyone knows serious action, it certainly is director Michael Bay. Now the physical effects that will be added to the action in our scene include water cannons. Press your eyes, go up to 100 pounds per square inch. We have bullet hits, which must be programmed and timed to match the continuity of the visuals and eventually the pattern of the sound effect. The last and probably most important effect to be added to a scene like this is fire. It must be ignited at a precise moment because it takes a lot of work and time to set those charges for an explosion. Of course, the number one consideration in the timing of all of these effects is the safety of our actors on the set. And that's where you come in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Justin. All right, Justin, you've been cast in the role of mechanic on our PC boat. And your scene takes place down in the engine room, which is located at the bottom of the boat. But we're not going to make you swim down there, Justin. You just go with Brandon right there. We've recreated the engine room right behind you. Now we're going to be shooting two scenes today, but not in the order that they appear in the script. Most movies today are shot out of sequence, which means that the actors often have to react to situations that have not yet been filmed. Now this can be quite a challenge. So it is the job of the director to provide some uh, motivation for the scene. Okay, Justin, here's the setup. That phone next to you is going to buzz just before 800 gallons of water, dump out those tanks, fly down that chute, and slam into you like a freight train. <laughs> Do you feel motivated to hang on? That's great because uh, actually uh, it's a thousand gallons of water. There's a fine line between motivation and fear. Okay, so we're gonna roll playback. Now remember, you just lost your engine. And action! Pick up your phone and talk to your captain. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> and cut. Now that's why we call it a physical effect. Give him a big round. Okay, so with the success of avoiding the long wait lines, we rode the ride five times. I want to ride it some more, but unfortunately we won't be able to do that because I have to go to work now. So, see you guys later. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate life for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot, drink up behind. Yo ho, we kidnap and ravage and don't give.